Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. Wow, it's been a minute. It sure has. It has been so refreshing. I cannot begin to describe how amazing it was taking this little break and just kind of taking some time for myself and reading and taking my dog for a walk every day and getting back into exercise and spending time with family and having Christmas and my birthday and New Year's. It's been a, like almost a month, which is crazy. I think this is like the longest, or like three weeks. It's like the longest break I think I've ever taken from this channel, but it feels really, really good to be back. I'm in my bathroom because I just finished getting ready. So like, I don't know, I might as well just sit on the floor. I'm going to regret this in about two minutes when I get up and there is dog and cat hair caked to the back of my black leggings, but anywho. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I've just been trying to read, been binging a lot of Netflix shows. We watched Cheer in one entire day yesterday, pretty much, or I guess in like two days. We've had Drew's nieces over for sleepovers. Oh, I'll show you when we go downstairs, but we bought an inflatable hot tub and it's been like, mm, maybe the best decision ever made. It's been so good. There's so much to say, I don't even know where to begin, but yeah, I'm back. I'm happy to be here. This is actually my favorite gift that I got for Christmas this year. It is a locket from Drew and on the inside, I'll probably have to like scoot closer, but on the inside there is a picture of us from our trip to Japan in 2018. Oh my gosh. Seriously the cutest, sweetest gift ever. Um, Drew said it was like our favorite date he's ever done. Like he planned the whole evening and we went karaokeing and to like a little English pub and all of this was in my Tokyo vlogs which are from like 2018 but if you want to see them they're on this channel. That was my favorite gift for Christmas and yeah it's just been really nice. My mom and I share a birthday, well it's my birthday but it's her like clean and sober anniversary so we celebrated that together. It was really nice. Oh I did redo my office. I totally forgot about that. I switched some things around and I changed my filming background and I'm really, really happy with it. I feel like it really kind of reflects my current style and vibe. And the best part about it is I actually didn't do anything, like I didn't buy anything new for it. I thought about filming it for a main channel video and then one day I just kind of got started and then like I couldn't stop and then that was it. It was over. But I, okay, well it's messy in here because I filmed. <laughs> Okay, here is the new filming update. So this is what it looks like. I'm really, really happy with it. And yeah, like I said, everything, every single thing in this room I already had. So I didn't buy anything new. I basically just like moved things around and kind of changed the color palette a little bit, brought in some more plants, but I am just so pleased with how this turned out. And it's just so cute. I didn't really move too much, but just more like added stuff. And it's just so cute. I clearly, filmed in here the other day and need to put some of this stuff away but yeah this is the new the new spot I also moved the desk there used to be a desk right here I moved it out just to give us a little bit more space I hung these little prism things in the windows but it's afternoon time so you actually can't see right now but when the Sun hits them in the morning it is so glorious in here and I'm really really happy with how like this little space is turning out so it's super cute it feels very cozy in here it feels kind of like a good mixture of like my sort of antique love and affinity and also like the fun sort of checkered like modern slash 80s-esque like postmodern I guess I don't know I'm very happy with it and I didn't have to buy anything new so that's cool um oh I guess I can show you the hot tub downstairs that's pretty exciting to me anyway <laughs> so here she is Miss America Oh my God, we love her. I found it um, after like reading a bunch of different reviews on Amazon actually, and it's by the Coleman brand. It's like a camping brand and it's actually been so legit. It's been so, so freaking nice to have to come out here in the evenings. And as a century plant update, she has continued to grow and has not started blooming yet. So here she is. <laughs> Still growing, still getting freakishly taller by the day. It's probably hard to tell with these updates, but this thing is 
ginormous. And it's so funny since so many of you have like pointed out this century plant and like explained that they bloom and it's really beautiful. I've noticed so many of them around Phoenix just driving around recently. So hopefully ours will bloom soon. The bloomed ones are pretty. This one is freaky. It still freaks me out. It still feels like it's an alien. I don't know why this started happening or I think it's because it's dying. So yeah, I've been spending um, almost every night in that thing. It's been pretty amazing. Oh, my lens is dirty. Miss Layla is eating her dinner right now. So she doesn't want to say hello, but we had to give her a bath the other day and she was not pleased. She is, you know, as we learned, almost like the majority chow and chows hate water and so does she. So she's doing pretty good. She definitely is getting older, which has been a relief stressful thing to deal with and I'll probably talk about it, you know, as time goes on. I've been doing a ton of working out lately, which may come as a surprise. I mean, I guess I talk about it on this channel and I've definitely done main channel videos surrounding exercise and my relationship to movement. And it's been really interesting to try and like set fitness goals for myself for the month that have nothing to do with aesthetics or like weight loss or I want to lose X amount of pounds or blah blah blah. It's all just been like I want to feel stronger and like I want to sleep better and I want to have more energy and I want to have less back pain and you know things like that. So it's been really cool. I think I might end up making a main channel video about it. Um, I'm basically trying to exercise every day this month, even though I've already missed a few days so far, but just sort of as like a, I don't know, an experiment that I'm trying out, but it's felt really good. Drew and I are definitely ordering a lot less Postmates. That's kind of like as a couple, <laughs> It's been like one of our bigger resolutions for the year is to stop ordering so much Postmates because like we were definitely, I'm just being fully honest, we were ordering Postmates like four to five times a week. Not kidding. And it was usually fast food. And so like we've been cooking all of our meals at home. We've had a couple meals out, but like it's been really, really nice. So yeah, I've just been doing a ton of exercising, all different kinds of workouts, dance workouts, bike workouts, did some treadmill workouts, taking the dog for walks. We've been walking around the neighborhood. Like we've done, we've done it all. Okay, cool. So I literally just talked to the camera for about 11 minutes and I got some error and it was like cannot process or something like that on my camera and I just lost that entire clip. <sighs> it's been a rough start to getting back into YouTube by the way. I think just because I took so much time off and like I don't know all my cameras are conspiring against me and like I'm having all these camera errors and just like random stuff. It's been really difficult to get started again. I just said so much that I don't even know where to start over. Basically what I was saying was that I've just been um, prioritizing myself and I think that's something that you're going to notice a lot more in vlogs this year and this vlog is already, it's just going to be a chatty vlog so I'm really just going to try to prioritize myself a lot more this year. I'm, that's something I'm not great at and I always put other things and commitments and people before myself and this year I'm just really trying to put a lot of love and care into myself. I guess I could sit down. This became like my little spot during Vlogmas. This is fine. This is good, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe not. So one of the things that I'm doing to like start, I don't know, just prioritizing myself and, and doing things that I've been putting off because I don't have time left over for myself is like, I don't know, Random stuff like, for example, I have acne scarring on the side of my face here. I have like a little patch, if you can see. Oh, I painted my nails two different colors, by the way. <laughs> That's something fun that I've been up to. I got some new gel polishes, so I did like half blue and half purple. Why not? But um, I, if you've watched my vlog channel, you'll have seen when I don't have makeup on that I have like a really big red spot right here and it's pretty like bumpy and textured it's probably hard to see on camera but i went and saw a dermatologist about it a couple months ago and he referred me to because i was like i want to get some kind of lasering done to hopefully minimize this and he referred me to a place that does like aesthetics and laser and i went there last week for the first time and she told me that i have rosacea and that's so surprising to me because i didn't know that but i guess it makes sense because my mom has it but i never even considered that that spot was rosacea i always thought it was like an 
acne scar type of thing because you can actually see it happen in real time. But when I went to the UK back in 2018, I was having a really bad breakout right here, like a huge mega like cyst pimple. And I probably just messed with that thing like relentlessly and, and definitely didn't make it better it probably made the situation worse but yeah then there just there was so much redness and like sometimes it itches other times it feels kind of more sensitive it's interesting but yeah she told me that it's probably a combination of rosacea and acne scarring and so my sort of treatment plan is that i am going to be going on two different kinds of lasers one of them <gasps> Excuse me. One of them is called a pulsed dye laser, which is a pretty typical laser for rosacea and redness. And so I actually already did one session of that because she was like, I can do it right now if you want. It takes two minutes. And I was like, okay, no numbing or anything like that. You just kind of, and it was very um, like rubber band snappy. It definitely hurt a little bit kind of towards right here, but it wasn't that bad. And then she's also gonna do a 1550 Fraxel laser, I think it's called, which is gonna address a lot of like the texture. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but I do have pretty textured skin. So everyone's like on their own journey and I'm not saying that textured skin is gross or anything like that. I just personally know that it would make a huge difference in my confidence, especially when I wear makeup, you can see it a lot more. I'm excited for that and then Something unexpected that happened while I was there was, um, I got Botox, just being honest. Oh no, my camera's falling. Oh, okay, we're good. Whew. It sort of just happened. Um, <laughs> I genuinely didn't plan for it to happen. I decided that it was gonna happen. I'm literally not kidding, 1.5 minutes before it actually happened, like literally 90 seconds. While I was there, we were just talking about what she does and her services and all this kind of different kind of stuff. She's a, a doctor. And basically we started talking about injectables and I just turned 34, by the way. I've been thinking about Botox since I was probably like 27. And I was like, oh, I'll just wait until I'm 30. And then I just kept pushing it off because honestly, I'm not gonna give some big long explanation. Like I think that there are plenty of valid arguments against it and plenty of valid arguments for it. I'm very neutral about it but uh, it's something I've just kind of want, always wanted to try. And so while I was there in the chair, I'd already driven all the way there. She was like, I can do it right now. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so that's basically it. Like it's, I had just have a very no big deal approach to that kind of thing. It didn't change my life. It wasn't like, oh my God, it's the most amazing thing I've ever done. I think it's cool. I think science is cool. I think it's weird. Um, would I get it again? Maybe but probably not, I don't know. So I don't um, like wanna change anything about myself. I really do love myself the way I am. And I don't, it's like sad that I even feel like I have to express that. I feel like women, especially who get any kind of like injectables or anything like that are constantly having to give like this super long explanation. Like I've wanted to get my lips filled since I was two years old. And it's like, that doesn't, that who care? Like get your lips filled if you want to and don't if you don't. I personally view it the same as I view like bleaching your hair, getting your eyebrows microbladed, like wearing makeup. Like it just, to me, it's like all just temporary things. So yeah, I did get it in my forehead, which like you can still see wrinkles. You can still, like I can still move around. Um, it was just something I wanted to try. So will I get it again? Probably not. It only lasts for like three months, but it was it was a cool thing that I tried out, I guess. And yeah, it was super impulsive. Like I was driving home from the appointment and I was like, what? I can't believe I just did that. I'm sure there's something to be said for like how easy it is to just do it. But anyway, just being honest, I'll always be honest about and transparent about those kinds of things. I think it's cool if you're online and you wanna do those types of things, but I think it's also really important to be honest about it and transparent. That's kind of where I'm at recently. And as far as this channel, I've kind of like taken a little bit longer to get back into uploading on this channel. I've been prioritizing my main channel cause that's kind of like my bread and butter. It's like, you know, it's my main channel, but I've been trying to figure out how to sustainably balance two YouTube channels this year because it's just not, it's not 
fun. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out how to show up here in a way that feels comfortable for me. As far as like frequency uploading on this channel, I'm not 100% sure. Like I'm, I'm thinking one vlog a week. I don't know if like you all would be interested in weekly vlogs. I feel like those are becoming very popular right now. So let me know in the comments if you would prefer more of like a, how this vlog is where it's like one sitting or one day and you kind of like go along with this person on their day, or if you'd rather see like little bits of more days of the week. I'd be curious to see like what your thoughts are on that. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to figure out like a sustainable way to make this fun and exciting, but also, you know, fulfilling for both of us. We're just taking care of ourselves in 2022. You know what I mean? And we're doing those things that we've been putting off because they make us feel good. I'm definitely focusing on self-love this year. Not that I haven't in other years, but that's like a huge priority for me is just really focusing on like self-love, doing things that I continue to put off because I don't have time, but I have time to scroll through Instagram for two hours, you know, things like reading and maybe getting back into hot. Hobbies. I'm investing in friendships that feel reciprocated and like matched energy. Investing in things like therapy, if you're able to. I know it's a huge privilege and the fact that I'm able to afford therapy online is wonderful and I don't take it for granted for one second. I'm just putting it, I'm putting all of the energy that I so freely give to others, to myself. Not all of it, but like a lot of it. But yeah, thank you for being so sweet and supportive during my break. I got so many sweet messages of people being like, I miss you, but like, I really hope you're enjoying your break. And like, it just, it's, it means a lot to me. And yeah, that's what's new with me. I love you all. Thank you for being here. And I will see you in the next vlog very soon. Bye.